Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to print images in Rec Room using coding like Python. This is very different than the program you might be familiar with called Rust Angelo because using code actually makes the image higher quality and in Rust Angelo it doesn't turn out as well. Keep in mind I have not created any of this code but the people who did have a discord and that's how I personally found out how to do this. There's also a video that these people made but it is now outdated and there's more software and stuff that you have to download so I'm to teach you how to do that in this video. Now, like I was saying, there is a discord that goes through all these steps in a channel, and if you are more of a reading kind of person when it comes to following tutorials, the discord will be linked in the description below, but if you're more of a follow along video kind of person when it comes to tutorials, then stay tuned because I'm going to be teaching you how to do that right now. Alrighty everybody, I've now moved over to my computer and I'm going to teach you how to start printing images. So the first thing you're going to want to do to set this up is go to the description and there will be a download for Python. It is a software that is going to help you print images and once you open the link you're going to click download right here. You're going to click save, you're going to wait for it to download, and then you're going to click download. Once you've clicked it, a window should pop up and it looks a little different than mine because I already have it installed. But what you're going to want to do is make sure that down here there will be an add python to path button. You're going to make sure that it's checked and then you're going to click install now. Once you clicked install now, it should say setup was successful and when that shows up, you're going to click close down here. After it is closed out, you're going to want to go to the search button down here and search command prompt. It's already right here, so I'm going to click on it. Once this has popped up in the description, there are all of these PIP installs. You're going to want to copy each one, one at a time, and paste it into command prompt, and then click enter. It should install all of it. I already have all these installed, so I'm not going to do that, but make sure you do. Now that you did that, you're going to want to go to the description again, and there will be another link for Visual Studio Code, which is another coding software that you're going to need. You're going to click Download for Windows, and then click save right here now open it click I accept the agreement next and now this is really important you want to make sure all of these are checked create a desktop icon doesn't matter but all of these need to be checked now you're gonna click next and install I already have this installed so I'm not gonna do that once you've done that you are now gonna open Visual Studio Code and you're gonna click this button right here which is extensions once you've clicked that, you'll have PyLance and Python. They should say install, kind of like this Docker right here. You're going to click install, and you're going to install both of these. Once you've installed both of these, you can exit Visual Studio Code. Now what you're going to want to do is make a new folder. You can name it whatever you want. It doesn't matter. I am going to name it script. I have my other one named as scripts, and because I already do, it won't let me change this one to scripts. So I'm just going to name this one scripts. It doesn't matter what you name it. I'm just going to name it this. Now you're going to want to download five different files to go in this folder. For me, I'm going to download them from the Discord, but you can download them in the description below. These are five different scripts, and here I have the Discord pulled up, so I'm going to download each one of these. And I'm going to save them to the folder that I just created. Now you should have a folder with five scripts in it. Now what you're gonna wanna do is open Rec Room on screen. All right, now I'm in Rec Room. I'm going to open up my watch. I'm gonna click play. I'm gonna go over here to the search button and you're gonna look up setup printer. You're gonna click enter and it should be this room right here. Just go to private and join the room. Alrighty, now that you're in this room, you're going to want to pull out your maker pen, open the menu, and click wire. You're going to go to the first one right here. It doesn't really matter which one you click, but you're going to want to click one of these strings with the wiring button. Now that you have this opened, you're going to want to go click the Windows button, or just open the folder with all your scripts in it, and you're going to find Display Mouse Chords. You're going to want to right click that and click open with and open it with Python. Now you're gonna have this little thing right here and it's gonna show you your X and Y of where your mouse is. So now you're gonna open stringimporter.py but this time you're gonna open it with Visual Studio Code. Now you're gonna go and you're gonna open mousebot.py also with Visual Studio Code. These should both be 
in Visual Studio Code. You should have them right here, each tab. You're going to want to click Manage right here, and then click Trust. Now that you've done that, you're going to want to go to String Importer, and you'll see Mouse Position for Copying and Mouse Position for Done on lines 7 and 8. The Mouse Position for Copying is going to be this box right here. So you're going to want to have this open, and you're going to find where your mouse is when it's hovering over the middle of this value box. Now, as you can see, mine is at 905.351, so I am going to go back here and change the mouse position for copying to 905 and 351, because that's what it said right there. Now, the mouse position for done is where this is going to be. So I'm going to open my chords again, hover over the done button. And as you can see, it is 200, 571. So I'm going to go back, change this to 200, 571. Now, every computer is going to be different. So make sure you are not typing in these same numbers that I am and do it yourself. Now you're going to want to go over to mousebot.py and then go back into Rec Room, exit out of that, and click this Show Subtitle button. An X will then appear at the bottom of your screen. You're going to want to open your coordinates and make sure this one is the most accurate out of all of them. You want your mouse in the middle of the X. Now that I have it here, I found my chords are 960 and 825. So I'm going to go back, mouse bot, subtitle coordinates, 960 and 825. Now, done editing position, what this one is, is you're going to get your maker pen out again, go to menu, tools, and then click edit and just click on the floor. It doesn't really matter. Open your menu back up and this done button will be right here. You want to open up your chords, find out which one it is. So this one would be 230, 158. So now I'm going to change this to 230 and 158. Now, before you exit out of this, make sure to click File and Save. Go to this one, File and Save. And now you got all your information put in. You can exit out of this and this. Once you've done that, you're going to go back to Rec Room. Open your watch again. Click Play. And this time, you're going to search for another room called Image Printer. It is right here. You're going to click on it. And you're going to click Copy. And then you're going to name it and click Create. I already have one, so I'm just going to go there. Create my rooms and then I'm gonna go right here and join it now you will join this room right here which is where the actual image printing is gonna take place um, the first thing you want to do is pull out your maker pen and then make sure you're on wire and go to these save and import buttons there's two sections and make sure none of these strings right here have anything on them you'll know if they have anything on them for example if I wrote on them and click done it'll show what it is written on them so if you see any like this just open it up delete it click done and escape and make sure every single string is empty on both sides and after you've done that you can just open your watch and save the room so it's like that every time you come in now that you've done that i'm going to explain these buttons over here let's say you wanted to print a square canvas you're going to click the square button right here and then click tip preset and it's going to do it on each corner what they think it should be which is 256 by 256 now if you were to print an image like this as you can see the corners they don't go all the way to the edge of the canvas so there is going to be white spots around it for example this is a 256 by 256 printed image that i did um as you can see there is white in the corners um it still looks good but if you want it fully printed i suggest adjusting the width and height this one is of my friend Derpy. He's lighting a Taki on fire. Uh, don't worry about it, but this one was 270 by 270. As you can see, there's still some white, but if you do it too big, then it starts messing up and has like white spots on the bottom and on the top, and it just doesn't look good. So I suggest not going too big, but not staying 256 by 256. My sweet number right now is 270 by 270. And that goes the same for this canvas. Make sure it's not too small, but not too big, just the perfect size. So the way to change it, as you can see right now, it's at 256 by 256. You come over here, set width, set height. You add one and it'll add. So as you can see at the bottom, it is changing. 
so i'm going to set it to 270 by 270 because i am going to do a square photo for this tutorial but remember if you want to do a rectangle photo you just click rectangle tip preset it does it you can adjust it to however you want and if you want to do a shirt it doesn't let me spawn it in after I've saved my own room. So I have to restore it back to the first original save. Now that I'm back to the first original save, as you can see, there is still stuff here, but I don't know why. This is the only way the custom shirt board works for me. I don't know if that it'll do that for you too. And great, it's not even spawning in. Okay, I'm not gonna worry about the custom shirt board. It'll work for you. I don't know why it's not working for me right now. I'm just not gonna worry about that. Okay, so when you spawn your custom shirt board, like I said, not working, you can click entire canvas it'll do the entire front and back full front shirt make sure you're clicking tip preset for each one of these so this would be like the full shirt this would be an icon and a smaller icon you can just do whatever you want with that um, but again all of these buttons work for each one so as you can see it's moving its height or width now it's moving its height so you can just mess with that with your own time like I said, I'm going to be doing 270 by 270 square for this tutorial. Now that you are in this room and I've explained everything, you know how all that works. You're going to want to pull out your maker pen, go to wire, and then click import right here. You're going to want to grab this thing with your right hand and have your maker pen in your left with the wire tool on. And you're going to want to hover your mouse right over the first string, not on the first string, not below it right above it now that you got that all in place you're going to want to get an image now i have my image in my gmail so i'm going to go grab that real quick and then i'm going to put it inside of my script folder okay i have now downloaded my photo and it is now in my script folder so i'm going to find that i've got my script folder up and it is right here the image that i'm using i'm using a square photo because I'm doing a square canvas. This is my friend Jesus. He volunteered to be in this video. So I'm gonna be printing this picture. As you can see, he's in his bathroom. Pretty great uh, scenery we got here. Now, you're gonna wanna double click image compiler and make sure you know the name and um, what type of file it is. Mine is a JPEG. Uh, if you can't see what type of file it is, go to view and then make sure file name extensions is checked right there. So you can see what type of file it is and then right click image compiler and click open with code you're going to want to open this with visual studio code the only thing that you open with python is display mouse chords now every time you open a new visual studio code thing this restricted mode is on here you're just going to click manage and trust but you can actually add trusted folders so i'm going to add two i'm going to add both my script which is the one for this tutorial and scripts folder so i have both these folders trusted so now after i open it again so for example if i open it i won't have to trust it anymore so now that you have your image compiler open you're going to want to click run and click start debugging or just f5 as a shortcut then you're going to want to click python file now this is going to run up and like I said, you have to remember the name of your image with the extension name. So mine is jesus.jpg, and then you're going to click enter, and then enter desired new width of image. This has to be the width and height that you put in Rec Room. So mine was 270 by 270, so I'm going to click 270, enter, 270 again, enter, and now it's going to click press enter to compile strings. Strings are all of these things right here. Each of these things are strings. So now you're going to want to click enter and then it's compiling the strings depending on how complicated your image is it'll take longer it'll have more strings so as you can see it gave me 70 strings now what i love about this is you can see how the image will turn out remember the higher quality the image is the better it'll turn out so in your folder it has now created two more things strings and result.png the result.png basically shows you what your image is going to look like inside of rec room so now we have my image here that's what it's going to look like. It looks great. So now I'm going to go to stringimporter.py. Double click that. Make sure it's opening with Visual Studio Code. I have this right here. I'm going to exit out of this folder and make sure you have this and Rec Room in the background. And again, it is really important that your maker pen is right above the first string. And you're going to go here, click run again, start debugging, Python file, wait for all that to load up. And now it's going to say specify the context 
I, V, E, or T, you're gonna wanna click I, and then click enter, I for image. Now, this is really important. It says enter a delay timing as a float should range from zero to one second. I have done 0 0.3 before, but that has messed up and sometimes it skips over the strings and messes up your entire image. So sometimes it'll paste it in here and then maybe it'll accidentally skip here depending on how fast or slow you're going. I find that my lucky number is 0 0.5. It may vary for you, but I suggest just doing 0 0.5. Once you click enter, it is gonna make sure that you are seated in the importing seat. You're holding maker pen in your left hand, you're holding the trigger handle in your right hand, and you are looking straight on directly above the first list. If all of those check, you're gonna wanna click enter, and then it is gonna start doing its code, doing its thing, importing all of the data it needs to print your image. Now, I have 70 strings, so it is gonna paste into each string 70 times. So now you just have to wait. Maybe get on your phone, watch some TikTok, watch some Shake and VR videos in the meantime. But uh, we're just going to wait for all these to import. Alrighty, guys. Now we have all of these down. And as you can see, I'm going to check here. None of my scripts messed up. You will know because one of them will be empty if it has been skipped over. And if that is the case, then you have to start all over because then your print will just stop like halfway or depending on which uh, string it skipped. But after we do this, I'm going to go and I'm going to click save. And then I'm going to go over to this start print button and you're going to click start print. Now it is starting to draw my print and it usually takes depending on how many uh, scripts you have over there it ranges from like 20 minutes to 10 minutes 30 minutes sometimes depending on how complicated it is but I'm just going to wait for this to finish printing alrighty everybody now our picture is finished um, it turned out really good in my opinion remember the higher quality the image is the better it'll turn out um, so make sure you have a pretty high quality image cartoon photos also turn out really good because there's not a lot going on there And they take a lot faster, but yeah, that is how you print images in rec room So now you can open up your maker pen. I'm gonna move it up save it as an invention Confirm. And yeah, there you go now you got your picture and if you ever want to print another picture don't worry You do not have to do all those steps again. All you have to do is open up your script folder delete strings result and your first picture that you had delete and you got all this again all you got to do put your picture in there all you have to redo is the image compiler and string importer process that is it you don't have to worry about mouse spot don't have to worry about display mouse chords none of that stuff that's all you got to do if this tutorial helped out make sure to like and subscribe to my channel i would really appreciate it we are coming close on 10k subs and uh I honestly don't have anything planned for the 10k special, but I'll think of something. So, uh, yeah, see you guys in the next video. Have fun printing pictures.